Iwan sa mga bubuyok at nagbabalik na naman ako. Hindi katulad niya na di ka binalikan. Share moment diagram na naman. Using the area method. Yes, pero level up tayo ngayon. Uh, triangular load naman. Let's go! Ginawa ko munang medyo simple yung figure natin para ma-explain ko muna yung mga concepts, mga basics kasi medyo maraming mga bago dito na hindi natin ginagawa doon sa rectangular, kapag may rectangular load. Okay, so wala nang paligulig pa. Simulan na natin. Okay, so first and foremost mga bis, no? Palagi to, kahit anong load man yan, we solve always for the reactions, di ba? Kasi unknown yung reactions nila. Yan. So to solve for that reactions, Again, we go back to our basic statics. Convert mo na natin itong ating uh, triangular load sa ating point load or concentrated load, di ba? So, para i-convert yon, di ba ito? Pwede niyang ma-convert into a concentrated load, okay? So, ano ba yung... Paano natin malalaman kung ano yung... Uh, ano yung value? Ano yung value ng ating point load? Simple lang. Parang nagsusolve lang tayo ng area, di ba? Kapag rectangle, minumultiply lang natin yung... Oh, land times width, parang dito lang, parang area din lang ng triangle. Base times height divided by 2. Ulitin ko lang, area lang nito. That's 2 times 3, base times height divided by 2. 2 times 3 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So, kaya naging 3 kN yun. Okay? Ngayon, saan nag-act yung 3 kN? Saan part along this line? So, palagi, it is one-third away from the height. So, since ito yung height, one-third ng length na to from this height. So, ano ba yung one-third ng 3? Ang one-third ng 3 ay 1. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, 1 meter. Okay? So, nag act siya one-third from this height. Kapag triangle load yun. Palagi yun. Okay? So, now that we have converted it, we can also solve for the reactions. We just use uh, summation of moments with respect to ano yung gusto nyo. So, kahit saan yung reference point natin, simulan natin sa A. Okay? Reference point natin yung A is equal to 0, assuming na yung clockwise ay positive. Okay, so, ano ba yung mga loads? Let's start with RB. Our RB will create a counterclockwise, di ba? Kung makikita nyo, i-coach siya doon kasi A yung reference point natin. Kaganon siya. So, it would be negative. Okay, negative RB. Ano yung perpendicular distance niya papuntang A? That's this whole length, which is 3 meters, right? Then we have this 3 kN. This 3 kN will push it. Pag anon, so it will create a clockwise moment. So since clockwise, sa sign convention natin, it will be positive. Positive 3. Yan 3 kN. Tapos ano yung distance niya papuntang A? That's equal to 2. Diba? Kasi 1 meter. Tapos ibig sabihin yung natira na 2 is just 2 meter. So that's 3 times 2 is equal to 0. So... We just now solve for RB. Transpose lang natin sa kabilang sign ng equation. Magiging 6 over 3. Which means RB is equal to 2 kN. So this RB is has a value of 2 kN. Now, to solve for RA, simple na lang yan. We just use summation of forces along the y direction. Or kung gusto nyo mag-moment ulit para mas sure, pwede rin naman. Diba? Uh, walang pumipigil. Diba? Ayan. Joke. Positive bala. Yan, pag ano, positive. Now, ano ba yung mga forces? We have less 2 kN na pataas. Kaya positive. Then, we have 3 kN na pababa. Kaya negative. Tapos, we have RA na pataas. So, positive is equal to 0. Thus, RA, 3 minus 2, is equal to 1 kN. So, this RA has a value of 1 kN. So, we're done with our step number 1. Solve na natin yung ating mga reactions. So, we can get rid of that. Ayan. Hindi na natin yan kailangan. Ayan. So, let's continue. Now that we are done doing that, we proceed now in solving our shear diagram. So, how will we do that? Simple lang ulit, katulad ng ating ginagawa kasi nga area method to, we get for this area. ba? So, saan ba tayo mag-start dito? Pala mag-start tayo sa point na to. So, starting from this point, we have here a reaction force which has a value of 1 kN. So, we will go up 1 kN. Let's just say that that's 1 kN. And then, along this length, meron tayong distrib triangular distributed load. So, we need to solve for the area of this one. And the area of that one is equal to base times height divided by 2. Sabi nga natin, di ba? And that's 2 times 3 
That's the length, base times height divided by 2. So cancel 2 and 2, we are left with 3. Okay? Kasi kung makikita natin mga bis, itong ating, itong ating uh, triangular distributed load, it's pointing downwards. Ibig sabihin, it goes down, which means it should be negative. So ang i-add natin dito is negative 3, which means magsusubtract siya. So pagdating sa point na to, magiging negative 2 na siya. Kasi 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So let's assume na it's here. Yan. Negative 2 kilonewtons. Okay, ngayon mga bis, how will we connect these two lines? No? Paano ngayon yung magiging connection nila? Will it be a straight line or not? Itong line na to, itong slope line na to, this is already, this has already a degree of 1, di ba? Kapag, kapag line yan na nakaslope, ang degree niyan ay 1, di ba? Kapag ganyan yung straight line na ganyan, ang degree niyan ay 1. Kapag line yan na horizontal lang, ang degree niyan ay 0. Kapag curve na yan, it's either 2 and above. Okay? So, yun. Since 1 to, ibig sabihin, kapag pupunta na sa isang next level, sa shear, magiging 2 na siya. Which means, kapag pupunta na yan sa ating moment, magiging 3 na yung degree niya. Okay? So now, since alam natin na magiging 2 na yung degree ng line natin, then it will be a curve. A line that has a degree of 2 is a curve. So how will our curve look like? Ano dapat yung itsura ng curve? Dapat bang pag -ganon? Or dapat bang pag -ganon? Or dapat bang pag -ganon? Or what? So, para ma malaman natin yan, gamitin natin yung ating bit chart. Okay? So, teka lang, nasa yung aking bird mountain chart. Okay, so itong ating triangular load, nakaslope siya ng pag ba? Diba? Pero kasi, pababa siya. So, since pababa siya, mga bis, no? Ibig sabihin, yung slope ng line na to, dapat is pag dapat siya. Kasi, ba? Diba, habang nag-move forward ka, yung shear mo or yung load mo is mas, 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 mas bumababa. Kasi nga, mas lumalakas, mas lumalaki yung ating loading. So, dapat siyang pag -anon. So, kapag ito yung ating reference line, ito yan. Yung line na yan dapat, it should be this line. Okay? So, ayun. Ganun. Now, tignan natin yung ating ating graph, yung ating bird mountain chart. Saan dito yung kaparis niya? Ito, di ba? Bakit ito? Kasi yung magpareha silang sloping na pababa and it is below the reference line. Okay? Sa baba nito. So, gamitin natin yung ganun na a curve. Okay? So, ito magka-partner yan, ito magka-partner, ito magka-partner, and so on and so forth. So, we will use this kind of curve to connect these two lines. Okay? So, connecting that, magiging ganun siya. Okay? So, bale, ganun po yung itsura ng ating, uh, ito yung itsura ng ating shear diagram. So, pag natapos na natin ating shear diagram, we are now ready to proceed sa ating moment diagram. Okay? So, Sa ating moment diagram, same likewise, kunin ulit nyo natin yung area nito, yun yung gagamitin natin para magawa natin yung ating moment diagram. Kasi nga, area method, ba? And to emphasize, ano ulit yung tawag natin sa point na to? This point, we call that as the PZS or the point of zero shear. Okay? So, this PZS, kailangan nating malaman kung ano yung distance niya hanggang dito. Okay, so bakit natin kailangan niyang malaman? First and foremost, kasi sa PZS na to, dito nangyayari yung most of the time and dito yung maximum moment. And para din makuha natin yung area na to, yung part lang na to, we need to solve for this length. Okay, so now, how will we solve for that length? Actually, mga bis, there are two ways, okay? Merong dalawang ways para mas solve natin kung ano yung length niyan. First is the using our initial method. We have the shear and moment equations. Tama? Shear and moment equations. Or we can use geometry. We can use uh, uh, geometry ba tawag doon? O parang graphical style siya. We call the squared uh, property of parabola. So I will show you both and it's up to you to choose which method do you prefer the best. Ganun na lang, okay? So, let's start. 
Okay, so hahanapin natin kung ano yung let dito and let's name that x kasi unknown pa nga, di ba? Okay. Ngayon, mga bis, using the sure in moment equation method, magkakat tayo ng portion. Ikakat natin yung portion kung saan yung point of zero shear. So, uh, ikakat natin dito. So, panuari, dito lang muna. Okay, so, i-rewrite ko lang. Panuari, ito yung beam natin. Yan. Tapos, andito yung PZS. Ito yung point of zero shear. Dito yan. Kinat ko lang sa po yung portion na to. Ito yan, mga bis. So, isulat natin yung reaction na yun. Ra, which is a value of 1 kN. And kung mapapansin yung mga bis, meron yung ating distributed load na triangular. Okay? So, ayan. Now, ang tanong ngayon, mga bis, since pinutol lang natin hanggang sa portion na to, ano ngayon yung height natin dito? Diba? Hindi natin alam. Pero, we can do that by using... Uh, ratio and proportion. So, itong buong triangle na to, i-sketch ko lang dito. Ha? Yan. Ito yung buong triangle po na yan. Yan. So, ito yung buong yan. Now, ang height ng original triangle natin is 2 kN. Diba? So, this is a height of 2. Ngayon, ang buong height nito ay, ano yung buong height ulit nito? Ang buong height nito ay equal sa 3, 3 meters. Okay? So, 3 meters yung buong yan. Ang Portion na to is x, di ba? Ito yung portion na yan. Yung length na to is x, di ba? Ayun. So, that's x. Now, this height here, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, let's just name that y. Okay? So, bali yung para nangyari dito, meron tayong dalawang triangle. So, we will use ratio proportion. Parang ito yung big triangle. Pa Sketch ko lang ulit baka nakakalit ah. Tapos, ito yung small triangle. Yung big triangle na to, ito yung original. Yung small triangle, ito yung mas maliit. Para lang malaman natin kung ano yung portion na to. And that we name that y, di ba? So, this is 2 and this is 3. We name that y and we name that x. Okay? So, how will we solve for this? Ratio and proportion. 2 is to 3 is equal to uh, y is to x. Thus, to solve for the value of y, kasi nga y yung hinahanap natin kung ano yung height niyan, di ba? That would be equal to, transpose natin yung x sa kabilang side, 2 third x. y is equal to 2 third x. Okay? So, erase ko lang to. y is equal to 2 third x. Ito rin. Hindi na natin ito kailangan. Okay? Yan. Okay. So, dito, ang value nito y is equal to 2 third x. X. So, doon po yun ang galing. Okay. Then, this is the X. Yung X is yung length na to. Okay. Ngayon, mga bis, kailangan natin i-convert ulit to sa kaniyang uh, point load. ba? So, para i-convert yan sa point load, kunin lang natin yung area. And yung area niyan is 1 half base times height. And yung base natin is X times yung height niya, which is 2 third X divided by so, base times height divided by 2. Kapag sinimplify natin to magka-cancel yung 2, magka-cancel yung 2, magiging x squared over 3. So, ito na yung value ng ating uh, concentrated point load na to. Okay? So, erase ko lang to para maayos tignan. x squared over 3. Okay? Ngayon mga bis, since alam na natin yung value ng point load na yan, pwede na, nata, pwede na nating uh, solve to gamit yung shear equation. So, di ba kasi sa portion kung saan natin to pinutol, meron tayo dyang uh, internal forces. Ito, let's name that V0. Bakit V0? Kasi nga sa point of zero, shear siya nag act So, I named that V0. So, pero kahit ano lang pwedeng variable, pwede dyan. Okay, tapos meron din yung ating moment. Let's name that MO. Okay? So, ngayon, the VO is equal yan, mga bisa. Okay? Ito, 1 kN going up. So, positive. Tapos, meron tayong x squared over 3 na pababa. So, negative minus x squared over 3. Okay? Sa ating VO, mga bis, no? This is the shear. Shear force. Shear inter yung internal force na to, which is, which is a shearing force is equal to 0. Bakit 0? Kasi nga, it is acting on the point of 0 shear. Since it is acting in the point of 0 shear, the value of this is equal to 0. Thus, itong VO, pwede natin siyang palitan as 0. 
Therefore, we can now solve for the value of x, di ba? So, to that, transpose lang natin yung 1 sa kabilang side. Magiging x squared over 3 na is equal to 1. So, x squared is equal to 3. Kasi 3 times 1, then x would be equal to square root of 3. Okay? So, alam na natin kung ano yung value nitong ating x na to, which is a value of square root of 3. Hindi ko na siya simplify para hindi mahaba yung decimals natin. So, okay na yan. Alam na natin yung ating uh, alam na natin yung value ng ating x. So, this x, no? Ito sa value of square root of 3. Ngayon, ang dama, square root of 3. Okay, now using the shear and moment equation, again, we continue to plot our moment diagram. So, para gawin yun, mga bis, uh, we create our moment equation. So, MO, with respect dito yan, that would be equal to, ano ba yung mga mag-create ng moment? So, first, this 1 kN load, ito yung reference point natin palagi ha. It will create a clockwise motion, so that would be positive 1 times distance niya punta sa ating reference point is x, di ba? And then, we have x squared over 3 x squared over 3 would create a counterclockwise. Babaliktad yan. So, kapag babaliktad yan, mga bis, no? Then, it would be negative x squared over 3 times the distance, perpendicular distance punta sa ating reference point. That would be one-third of this whole length. Okay? So, kasi nga triangular load siya. Ito yung concentrated load na na-create ng ating triangular distributed load. So, one-third x times one-third x. So, simplifying this further, we have 1 x. So, x na lang yan pala. Kaya nagsisimplify tayo. <laughs> Minus x times x squared is x cube. Okay, x cube over 9. So, ilabas na lang natin yung x. Naging x over 1 minus x squared over 9. Okay. So, Simplify na natin, ang value ng ating x is square root of 3. So, that would be square root of 3 times 1 minus square root of 3 squared, square root of 3 squared over 9. Okay? Simplify natin yan, mga bis, no? That would be equal to square root of 3, square root of 3, magiging 1 minus, at at maalis yung square root, magka-cancel yun. So, 3 over 9 is 1 thirds. And then we have square root of 3. 1 minus 2, 1 third is 2 thirds. So we just grab our calculator. Square root of 3 times 2 thirds is equal to 1.15. Okay, so 1.15 kilonewton meter. So that would be the value of moment along this PZS. Okay, so along this PZS dito, along this PZS, ang magiging value niya is 1.15. So, let's just assume na dito yan. 1.15. Okay? So, ito, hindi na natin yan kailangan. Ay, wait. Kailangan pala natin. Joke, guys. Okay? So, kailangan pala natin yan. Bakit? Bakit kailangan natin? Kasi kailangan din natin i-determine kung ano na yung value din ng ating moment pagdating sa end point. And we just need to change x with 3 kasi yung buong length na. Itong x na to, papalitan na lang natin ng 3. So, let's name that m. So, the, the, let x be equal to 3. So, that would be m is equal to 3, 1 minus 3 squared over 9. So, that would be equal to 3. Uh, 3 squared is 9 over 9 is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this is 3 times 0, which is also equal to 0. Thus, pagdating niya daw dito sa dulo, ang value na ng ating moment is 0. So, ayan guys. Uh, pag ipa-plot na natin to, it would just look something like that. Okay, parang ganun siya mga bis. Okay, so kung bakit ganito yung itsuro ng graph, ulitin ko lang. Tingnan nyo lang ulit yung style ng existing na shear. Di ba yung existing na shear natin is parang pag ganun siya. So, Nasaan ba yung katulad nito sa ating diagram? Either ito or ito, ba? Pero pili nyo yung nasa taas kasi nasa positive side siya. So, pag ganun. Okay, so from 0, gaganon siya. The same likewise dito. Pag ganun rin siya, pero kasi nasa baba. So, negative. Pag ganun siya. So, from dito, 
mag-curve siyang pag ganun. Okay, so that's our first method. Medyo mahirap, no? Ito yung ating tinatawag na shear moment equation method. Pero, there's another way, which is purely graphical, no? Hindi na natin kailangang mag-X or what and so forth, so on. So, ayan. Ipapakita ko yung second method and you try to discern which one do you think is best. For di ba yung first na ginawa natin is sinold natin kung ano yung value ng x na to. Okay, so ngayon, gagawin na natin siya graphical way. We have the uh, concept called squared uh, property of parabola. Di ba kasi kung, triang, kung straight line lang yan, mga bis, di ba? Kung straight line lang yan, pwede tayong gumamit ng ratio and proportion. Kaso nga kasi curve yan. So hindi yan pwede. Now, there is the concept called squared property of parabola. Parang magiging... Uh, parang magiging ratio and proportion din siya. Pero nga lang, may konting twist. Okay? So, so the squared property of parabola states na kapag meron tayong parabola dyan, diba? kasi yung parabola lang to, diba? parang ito kasi yung, yung point na to, ito yan. Yan yung apex na, yung maximum point. So, yan, pwede pang gaganon yan, mga bis. Okay? Pero, hati ka, parang kalahati lang yan. Ito yan, o. Oh. Yung point na to, yan. Lagyan natin yan ng parang ano. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo mga bis, yung portion na to, ito yan. So, the squared prob property of parabola states na this portion, let's name this uh, x1, and let's name this y1, and let's name this x2, and let's name the entire t of this as y2. It states that y1 over x1 squared will be equal to y2 over x2 squared. So, makita nyo, bis, para siyang, ano, para siyang ratio and proportion. Kaso nga lang, nag-square tayo sa, sa denominator. Kasi, di ba, kung triangle yan, tapos, andyan yan. Parang same lang, di ba? For example, let's say this is our x1 and this is our x2 tapos this is y1 tapos yung buong 2 ay x2 di ba same lang parang x1 parang y1 over x1 is equal to uh, y2 over x2 parang padas lang siya pero kapag sa parabola na nai-square na yung x okay so paano natin yan gagawin yung half portion na to ito yan mga bis okay yung yan yan so, paano natin yan isosolve? Para isolve yan, ang ating y1 dito is yung portion na to. That's 1, di ba? 1 over. Tapos yung maliit na to, that would be our x1. So, we don't know that yet, di ba? Yung sagot natin is square root of 3. And let's see kapag same yung lalabas. Uh, x, let's name that x kasi yun yung hinahanap natin. x squared, wala. Kasi dapat naka-square, di ba? Is equal to y2. Ang y2 natin is yung buong to. So, it's also this whole part hanggang doon. So, ang buong ito ay 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay? And next is x2. Ang x2 natin is from this point to that point, which has a value of 3 meters. Okay? So, that's 3. 3 is squared. Okay? So, bale, para solve, mas solve yung x. Magka-cancel lang yung 3 dito at yung squared. 3 lang yung matitira. So, x would be equal to x squared pala, x squared will be equal to 3. Thus, x will be equal to squared of 3, which is exactly the same dito. So, makikita niyo mga bis, mas mabilis siya, di ba? Mas mabilis siya na way, yung graphical method. Basta lang yung intindihin niyo, yung concept niya, squared property of parabola, para siyang ratio and proportion. Kaso nga lang, itong mga x, yung portion sa x-axis niya, it should be squared, di ba? Kasi sa ratio and proportion, di natin yan ini-square. Eh. Okay? So, yun. Yun lang yung pinaka-main concept niya, guys. So, Ayan, na-prove na natin, nakuha natin kung uh, in this method na nakuha natin yung square root of 3. Now, how will we solve for this area? Okay, so papakita ko sa inyo. To solve for that area, mga bis, no? We will use the uh, formula for the area under a curve. Okay, so it can do yan. This is the uh, formula for area under a curve. Okay, so ang formula natin and area under the curve is area is equal to 2 over 1, ito yan, no? 1 plus n 
base height. Yung pares lang sa HT. Okay? So, balik tayo sa ating uh, problem. Yan. Area is equals to 2 over 1 plus N base height. Ano tong N? N is the degree of the curve. So, itong ito mga bis, no? Sorry. Itong mga bis, ang degree ng curve na to is equal to 2. Bakit? Kasi yung degree nito is 1, so pagpunta dito, magiging 2. Yung goal natin is kunin yung area nito para ma-plot to, di ba? Okay. Now, to solve for the area of this, gagamitin natin yung formula na to. Ang N ulit is the degree, which is 2. So, if I, uh, kapag uh, sinubstitute ko dito, magiging 2 over 3 na siya, 2 thirds, kasi 1 plus N. Ang ating base, ito, ang ating height, ito. So, yung base niya is, na-solve natin nga kanina na square root of 3. And ang ating height is 1. Okay, so we just need to multiply that. Kapag tama yung formula natin, dapat lalabas din yung 1.15. So, we have 2 thirds times square root of 3. Tana, tama, 1.15. So, di ba? Kung, kung naalala niyo yung previous method natin, ang medyo komplikado siya. Ito medyo mas madali, okay? Ngayon, uh, na-prove natin. Now, after natin ma-solve yung area nito, which is 1.15, now we're now down to solve the area of this portion. So, paano natin yan gagawin? First, hindi na applicable po dyan yung ating tinatawag na yung area natin, yung formula ng area is 2 third base times height. Bakit? Kasi applicable lang po ito kapag connected ka dito sa apex. So, di ba kasi sa portion na to yung curve na yan, nakakonect ka yan sa apex, the apex or the maximum point, which the slope is 0. Pero, kapag gantong sitwasyon na, tignan mo naman, yung slope niyan hindi 0. Yung slope niyan hindi 0. So, it means that this is not applicable with this portion. So, para natin yan gagawin? Ayun, minsan, yung ginagawa ng iba, gumagamit rin sila ng shear moment equation. Pero, uh, since area method kita, no, error, na mangyayari sa bibig, ah, since area method nga tayo, no, gamitin natin is pure graphical. So, paano ito gagawin? So, sketch ko lang to mga bis, no, para makita nyo. So, ito yan. Wait, i-ano ko lang. Yan yung, yan yung curve natin, mga bis. Tapos, ito yung reference line na yan. Yan. Tapos, ilagyan ko lang to ng, i-box ko lang siya. Yan. Okay. Now, ngayon mga bis, tingnan natin. Yung portion na to, di ba? Yung buong portion na to, pwede natin makuha yung area niyan, di ba? Kasi, yung slope dito is 0, connected siya dito. So, pwede natin makuha yung buong area niyan. So, para makuha yung buong area niyan, i-shade ko lang muna to. So, yung area nito, let's name that, a sub 1, area 1, which has a value of 2 thirds base times height. Bakit 2 thirds base times height? Yung base nito, which is uh, 3, di ba? Kasi 1 kN, tapos 2, so 3 to. 1 kN yon yun, tapos 2 to. Tapos yung uh, base niya naman, ito yung height pala, which is 3. And yung base niya is also 3, di ba? Yan, 3 meters. Yan, 3 meters yung buong to. Now, since alam natin na yung portion na to is 2 third base times height, now, we can conclude na yung natitirang portion na to, no, this remaining portion, no, this remaining portion dito, mga bis, has a value of 1 third base times height. So, let's name that A sub 2. 1 third base times height. Kasi nga, 2 thirds to. So, yung natitira, 1 thirds, di ba? So, okay na tayo doon. Ngayon mga bis, yung hinahanap nating area is only this portion, yung area na to. So, yung portion lang na to. So, hindi pa natin nakukuha yun. So, paano natin yun gagawin? Para makuha yun, itong part na to is, sketch ko lang ulit sa baba. Yan. Yan, sketch ko lang ulit yan sa baba. Yan. So, ito yung portion na to guys. Ito yan, no? Okay? So, ngayon, yung kailangan lang natin is yung portion lang na to. Okay, so paano natin to gagawin? Kung titignan natin mga bis, no, ito pwede natin tong extend di ba? Kasi rectangle yung portion na to. Pwede natin yung extend Okay? Yan. Okay. Ngayon mga bis, kung makikita nyo, pwede natin makuha yung area ng portion na to. Di ba yun yung kinuha natin kanina? Yung 1.15? 
yung area din nito is equal to 1.15. Nakuha na natin yan kanina using the formula pal palagi na 2 third base times height. Ito, di ba? So, since alam natin yung area nito, now, malalaman din natin kung ano yung area ng remaining portion na to, yung hanggang dito lang. Yung ito lang na portion na to. Kasi, alam natin na rectangle yan. So, para makuha yung portion na to, yung remaining portion na to, let's name that A3. A3 would be equal to the area of this rectangle, yung buong rectangle na to, minus yung area na 1.15. Diba? 1.15. So, ano ba yung area ng rectangle na to? That's just base times height. Ito, anong length nito? That's 1. Tapos yung length nito is uh, 3, di ba? So, 1 times 3 is just 3. So, that's 3 minus 1.15. Thus, the value of A, 3 would be equal to 3 minus 1.15. Equal yan mga bisa, 1.85. Okay? So, 1.85 na. Now, alam na natin kung ano yung portion ng A3 na to. So, para makuha natin yung remaining portion na to, let's name this our a sub 4, no? A sub 4, a sub 4 is therefore equal to sa buong ito, which is a sub 2, minus yung portion lang na to. Kasi di ba yung buong ito, that's a sub 2. Yung ito, di ba? Buong yan, a sub 2. Yan, yan yung buong a sub 2. Ngayon, isusubtract na lang natin yung a sub 3 na to. Para yung matira is yung a sub 4 lang na to. Gets? So, minus A sub 3. So, that's just 1 third base times height minus 1.85. Pagpunta natin dito, 1 third. Ano ba yung base natin? Yung base natin is yung buong to, 3 meters. Times yung height niya, which is also 3. Di ba? 1 plus 2. Yan, 3 then. Minus 1.85. So, let's just cancel 3 and 3. That would be equal to 3 minus 1.85. Therefore, we will have an area of 1.15. Okay. So, this area right here has an area of 1.15. Yung in part lang na to. Okay. So, yan 1.15 siya. Pero, nasa baba siya, it's below the reference line. Therefore, it is negative. Okay. So, since negative yun, from 1.15, magsusubtract tayo ng 1.15. That's how we got 0. Okay. So, ano, medyo mahirap pero with more practice nung mamamaster din natin yan. So, ito yung graphical way ng pagkuha natin. So, diba? Na-present ko na yung first way. That's the shear and moment equation method. And the second way, which is the graphical way. So, it's for you to choose which method do you prefer to use. And para sa akin, I think this is better. No? Mas, mas siguro easier to understand as compared sa isa. Medyo nakakalito kasi yun eh. Okay, so, pero it depends upon you naman kanong gusto nyo. And please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, kung may clarification man, don't hesitate to ask and I will try my best to answer kapag may time. And ayan, please like, share, and subscribe. Muli ako po yung bubuyong na nagpapalala sa inyong. Maglakbabag, joy, magdaro, manaliksik, king, matinik. Jabby out.